Dr. Kaina, you're a diplomat of the European College Veterinary Diagnostic Imaging. Could you briefly sum up the milestones of your career for us? Yes, um, I studied in Vienna, um, finished my studies there, then I started in the radiology clinic in Vienna as, a, as an assistant, starting from the beginning with MRI, and I've been working there on my thesis on MRI of the Kahn and Steifel joint. Mm -hmm. Then I left Vienna and went to, to the University of Bern for building up there the MRI service and doing a residence in diagnostic imaging. Mm -hmm. which I finished in Bern, and 2008 I left the university um, and went to Italy. And since then, actually, I'm providing um, MRI support service, considering protocols, um, protocol setups, MRI support, um, considering actually all parts of MRI, including reading images via teleradiology. Mm. And uh, how long have you been collaborating with SIOTE? Well, collaborating with Esaute is a wide term, actually. Um, I'm working with Esaute as I work also with other manufacturers. But I, my first presentation in an Esaute meeting I made actually in 2004, I remember that. And since I'm in Italy, we are growing more and more together since I'm working with a lot of Esaute machines by now. Ah. How effectively does Esaute technology meet your needs? <laughs> it's a good question. Um, there, I have to say that Ezeote is developing a lot for their MRI systems and I'm working a lot with Ezeote MRIs, especially the recent developments considering the Vetema Grande with the new software up, upgrades, the speed up, uh, are showing a very good um, emphasis on developing new possibilities and I'm very happy on working with that. I'm still trying to figure out the advantages and disadvantages of it and mm. I'm now in close relation with the technicians of Ezeote for giving them some information of what we can use clinically, what we cannot use clinically, and what we still would like to need. So for me, it's a very important working relation I have with them right now. But as I said, I'm reading images from different machines, working with different machines. Mm -hmm. So um, for my personal career, they are less important, but I see it's a very good development, and I like it. Okay. How do you see Ezeote in the international scenario for this kind of application, and more generally speaking, in the MRI world? I have to say there was a time a couple of years ago where they were losing um, in the field because there was not much support, but this really started changing something about three years ago where they started to invest, I'm talking not about money, but, but a, a, per, a personal into the veterinary field, and now with the developments of the uh, new software where they see that they really try to propone the system to give the customers something new, I have to say it's very impressive what they are doing. Mm -hmm, I see. And um, in your daily practice, how do you see the contribution given by MRI compared to CT? Since I'm doing MRI support, it's 100%. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And um, in your opinion, what are the most important trends in VET imaging today? Depends on what, what we're talking about. If we're talking about the universities, the most important trend is that they all want to get very high field MRIs versus three tesla, etc. Which is a part that I personally don't like because outside in private field there are a lot of low field systems and all residents which are learning MRI on high field systems, especially three tesla systems, will have no idea how to work with 0.2 or 0.3 tesla. For mm. me this is a bad development at the universities. In private practice the development is still there that um, more and more clinics are f finding out that they want to have an MRI. Um, there are a lot of uh, neurology diplomats in the veterinary field searching for a place that was in private practice and the neurologist without MRI is just incomplete. Mm. So they all want to have an MRI. So this is a very big and very growing market in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I see. In your clinical experience, what are the advantages of Vet Grande in comparison with Vet MR? It's a completely different world. It's really a big step from the VETMR, which is a basic system. It has some advantages, but from the price, it's uh, um, for joints, it's a quite a good system. For neurology, it has a lot of disadvantages. And the VET Grande provides finally real T2 weightings, fast spin echo T2 weightings, which are much, much faster, providing much better contrast. Resolution is better. There's the high sequence, which is not available on the VETMR which is a very beautiful, very high resolution sequence providing a lot of necessary information. It's, um, it's really a different world. Mm -hmm. It's from 
sorry if, if I uh, prolong this, this answer, it's from a very basic, um, let's say, opening of the door of MRI to really being in the center of the world of MRI. And lastly, do you have any suggestions for the future? A lot of technical suggestions, but I'm not sure if um, <laughs> you really want to hear them now. There's a lot of stuff that still can be improved. It starts with the pole-to-pole -pole distance for also scanning bigger dogs and coils, which can also go around the thorax of a big dog, for example, um, to a moving table, so that we, can, that we can scan the anatomy in the center of the magnet and not only the coil in the center of the, of the magnet, for example. And mm -hmm. it goes to our sequences where I would like to have more options, more resolution, but I'm, I know I'm very specified in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Th fantastic. Thank you very much, Dr. Kona. You're welcome.